Hey guys, welcome to Bosch Gaming. I'm your host Chris. I'm John. And uh, we're just here continuing on the series that we're doing on the low-end graphics cards and seeing exactly how they perform with modern games. Um, and with this one, we've got the Sapphire HD 7770 from AMD. Um, and we're going to do a bit of an unboxing and then run into some benchmarks afterwards. It's actually 7750. What did I say? 7770. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> 7750, I'm sorry about that. We do have a 7770 as well, which we're going to be doing shortly. Which is just there. <laughs> but right now we're doing the 7750. Alright. Box. Beautiful uh, box. Love the box. So I don't know how much detail you can see on that, but it's just got all the regular run through stuff that you'll be able to find. No problem anyway. And open the box. It looks a little bit like an egg carton in here. <laughs> Graphics card, we'll do that last. So it comes with a DVI to VGA adapter. <coughs> um, which I'm guessing means that there's no VGA output on the, uh, the rear I.O. on this one. So you got your, your driver disc and it actually does come with a, a case sticker in there if you can see that. A little bit of it. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Somewhere around there. And then your quick installation and your warranty card as well. Okay, so it comes with that kind of stuff too, obviously. I need to keep. Um, and that's basically it. So there's a very minimal bundle with this kind of stuff. So, yeah. And we'll open up the graphics card now. Voila! And it comes with some protective coating on there. The little plastic, which we'll take off. Because we're going to be benchmarking these. Absolutely. So the shroud on it there is just running the regular blue PCB. Um, I don't mind that so much, but mm. you know it's up to you how you. Uh, That's nice. Yeah, I think it's alright. Yeah. So yeah, like I thought, there's no no VGA connector on the rear I/O there. You've just got a Display Port, HDMI, and DVI. Um, and I think, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you can run Affinity on these cards. I probably wouldn't for gaming, but if you're looking at running a three monitor desktop, you do a lot of uh, uh, internet browsing and, and all that kind of stuff, it might not be a bad option. Always a fun experience. Always a fun experience. Yeah, I am too. So, without any further ado, we'll finish there um, and get on with the benchmarks. Bosh. Bosh.
Hey guys, I just wanted to show you the uh, the 7750 running in my case because it looks hilariously small. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that compared to the CPU cooler, it's uh, it's absolutely dwarfed. You can barely see it. Uh, but I'll uh, I'll hop off now and we'll talk about the results. All right, so you've seen the results on the uh, the HD 7750. Uh, I think they pretty much speak for themselves. Uh, price point wise, this is a little bit cheaper than the uh, the GT 640 that I've done a review on as well. Um, but I, I think the results from this are tremendous. These are really 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 good cards. Um, you can play any modern game in medium to high settings without any issues whatsoever. It just keeps chugging through. Uh, and you know, price point wise, considering it's just an entry level card, um, really really good. Uh, temperature wise, 49 degrees, so it's a very cool card as well. Makes a little bit of noise, but not much. Um, and that's about all I could say about it. If I was going to give out an award, um, I would definitely say this is uh, worth gold. This is great. Um, so really excited to have this card and uh, do a bit of benchmarking on it. I myself am used to using a GTX 670 which is uh, considerably more powerful but this thing, uh, yeah, really 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 good. Anyway, I'll uh, get cracking with the 7770. Goodbye.